Hi, my name is Matthew Peters and I'm an engineer at HashiCorp. What I want to talk to you about today is how you can use Vault Enterprise to ensure revenue is being driven to your business by leveraging a feature that we call performance standbys. So when we talk about Vault Enterprise, what we're talking about is the ability to do things like store static secrets, generate dynamic secrets, key management, or even doing things like encryption as a service. But what we don't talk about a lot is how and why Vault is deployed the way it is. So when we deploy Vault, we deploy it in a three node cluster. The reason for this is so that we have a highly available state, meaning if we lose node number one, which in this example is the primary node, we have two other nodes here to take the traffic. So the other reason is so that you can enable things like performance standbys. Naturally, the next question is, what exactly is a performance standby? So assuming the cluster is healthy and all three nodes are online, Vault can actually take in client reads to nodes number two and three, meaning the traffic from the primary node can be fanned out to these other nodes. Why is this important and how can exactly can this help me generate revenue to my business, not only revenue but reoccurring revenue? So let's take an example here, like Amazon.com. Let's imagine that you are visiting Amazon.com on a very busy day like Cyber Monday where there are thousands, tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of people logging into Amazon.com via desktop app, via smartphones, using the mobile app, and they are getting their secrets from Vault, right? Their username and passwords are stored in Vault, and they're getting their secrets from Vault. Now, the Vault primary node can only take so much traffic. So if we leverage performance standbys, we can use these other two nodes here to get client reads so that you have a low latency model for something like a high throughput situation. Why is this important? So again, remember, in order for us to provide this low latency, high throughput model, we're gonna leverage these two other nodes here in the cluster. Naturally, what happens is if you don't have a highly available solution that can support a low latency, high throughput model, if you're a client, a customer logging into Amazon.com via the desktop or mobile app, it might be slow, the web page might hang. What happens when you don't get a response from a web page? Naturally, you go visit another web page. In this example, it might be Amazon's competitor. So imagine you're a client from Amazon.com and you're trying to log in, the web page is taking too long, and you say, you know what, I'm gonna go to Walmart.com because their web page is probably working correctly and I'm gonna order my goods from walmart.com. You have now lost business to walmart.com because your solution could not support a low latency, high throughput model for your customers. I hope this discussion about performance standbys have been helpful. Please visit www.hashicorp.com for more information. Thank you.